So let's have a look at question 2b now. So it, we've got some additional information. It says the midpoint of BC is M. So let me mark M in here. This is the midpoint. And the question says calculate the length of A to M. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to redraw this diagram in a second. Um, what we also have is we have this angle and we have this angle. So the angles in a triangle add up to make 180. So if you add those together and take it away from 100, 180, you will get this angle, which will be 60 degrees. So what I'm now going to draw is this triangle AMC. I'm deliberately not going to draw it like a right angle because it, it does look like a right angle here, but we're not certain. So A, M and C. We know this is 60 degrees. We are trying to work out the length of A to M. So I'm going to call this length Y because we called um, the missing length in the first part of the question X. Um, we also know the length of M to C because B to C was 20 and M is exactly in the middle. So this must be 10. So now what we want to do is we want to find out the length of Y. We also know that this length here is 15.6 to three significant figures. We'll try and use the exact value in our calculation. Now, we're going to be using the cosine rule here to find the length of y. Okay, so the cosine rule is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So I'm just going to re and relabel each of these letters. So let me get a different colored pen. And um, cos A, so there's only one angle in here, so I'm gonna call this one A. I'll do it in red. So therefore, this length is little a. I'm gonna call this one B, so little b, and big C, little c. So now let's substitute in our values. So A squared now becomes Y squared, equals b squared, which is 15.6 squared, plus c squared, minus 2 times b, times c, times cos of a, which is 60. So we're going to type that all into our calculator in one go. So that's going to be 15.6 squared, plus 10 squared minus open bracket 2 times 15.6 times 10 times cos 60. Now what I've used, instead of 15.6, I've used the exact answer here. So the answer I'm getting is y squared is equal to 187.94. So in order to get y, I will just need to square root this. So I get 13.709, so to three significant figures, this would be 13.7 centimetres. Three sig figs. I hope you found that useful.